Hey, my name is GB. Welcome in. I heard you're not the most decisive person. Well, hopefully this exercise is going to help put you in a more decisive mindset. Now, almost all of these choices today are going to seem like they're arbitrary. Why does it matter? I don't have to choose. Either one is fine with me. I say, no, no. Each decision you make is very important, if not just for the sake of making the decision. So what I'm going to do is, many times in a row, I'm going to hold up two objects, and I'm going to give you a short amount of time to choose one. You have to choose one. You may not pass, you may not skip, you may not say either, you may not say both. You must choose one. Do you think you can do it? Well, the reasoning doesn't have to be anything profound. It doesn't have to be anything specific. In fact, I won't even ask you why you chose the object. It's just the fact that you chose it. Okay, and we'll move on. But I think this is a good exercise for people who struggle with that. I think that their opinions don't matter. Or maybe they are paralyzed by the prospect of choice. <laughs> or maybe you are a very decisive person and choosing things gives you satisfaction. Well, no matter what, I have quite a few objects, but I do anticipate this will go pretty quickly, all things considered. I don't want to spend too much time letting you overthink things. Okay, we'll start very simply, not an object. Left or right? Three, two, one, choose. Very good. Okay, let's do some objects here. I'm honey mask or I'm aloe mask. Two face masks. Would you like the honey or the aloe? Three, two, one, choose. Very good. Next we have some beautiful nail polish. Both of them are quite shimmery. I'll let you get a good look. We have a beautiful blue. Beautiful blue in the color Terra. Or a beautiful burgundy in the color Cassiopeia. Would you like Terra or Cassiopeia? Three, two, one, choose. Okay. Now we have some old dog toys. This one is a crinkly dragon. And this one is a woolly elephant. Both of them are pretty beat up. Very loved. Would you like the dragon or the elephant? Which do you choose? Three, two, one, choose. Very good. Next some plants. These are fake plants. This one is a succulent in a white vase. This one is some grass in a black vase. Do you choose the grass or the succulent? The grass or the succulent? Three, two, one, choose. Good. 
Mm, I have some gift cards. First, a gift card to Target. Citrusy, a little flowery. Would you like Secret Genius or Tambourine Dreamer? Three, two, one. Very good. Very good. Two bottles. hair clips. We have pink, or we have tortoiseshell, sort of. We'll call it brown. Pink or brown. You choose. And we have Heroic. Do you choose Fearless? Or do you choose Heroic? Three, two, one. Awesome. So I hope 
have you been doing so far? I think I want to make it a little bit harder. Is that okay? So, what I'm going to do is show you two objects like we were doing before. But this time, I want you to know that I want one of the objects. I'm not going to tell you which one I want. You still have to choose. And no matter which one you choose, you get to keep. I don't get it. So, don't try to think too much about what I want, because it's impossible to know. You can't ask me, and I won't tell you. But you should know that I do want one of these objects over the other. Let's see if your decision-making skills are warmed up, and you can continue making choices. First we have a stuffed also have a stuffed yeti, a little plush yeti, a plush yeti, and a plush duck. Which do you choose? The duck or the yeti? Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Oh no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Moving on, we have some G Fuel Shakers. Yellow. And purple. Do you choose purple? Or do you choose yellow? Slightly smaller. We have some shot glasses. This one is Mercy. Mercy. And this one is Lucio. Lucio. Do you choose Mercy or do you choose Lucio? Three. One. Choose. Okay. Some hats. We have a GB hat. GB hat. G. B. Now, they both have a little dog hair on them. They're the same in that regard. Do you choose GB or GB? Three. Two tiny little figures here. Two tiny little figures. Two tiny little figures here. Would you like tiny Bakugo? Teeny tiny little angry Bakugo? Or would you like teeny tiny little baby Todoroki? Do you choose Bakugo or Todoroki? Three, two, one, choose. Very good. Okay. I have a couple of pens here. I have the 
bunny pen and I have a cloud pen Would you like the bunny pen or the cloud pen? Three or the rainbow and black striped shirt yellow and black rainbow and black three We have a Bruno Bucciarati journal. Bruno Bucciarati journal. Would you choose the Sweet Dreams journal or the Bruno journal? We have the red and black Thudias. Would you like the red and black or the black and red? Three, two. Silver and clear manicure. Do you choose, excuse me, black, silver, and white? No clear, just black, silver, and white. Black, silver, and white.
I have two volume one manga here. This is Naruto. And this is my hero. Do you choose Naruto? Or do you choose My Hero Academia? Naruto, My Hero Academia. Three, two, one, choose. Okay. Okay. I have two bags. The first. The second is Mob Psycho. Do you choose? Fun. Okay. Well, maybe we can do it again in the future. Yes? Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, no time to lose. Are you ready to choose? Okay, we have pink and we have blue. Okay, here's pink. And here's blue. All right, ready? Three, two, one, choose. Good, next we have two journals. We have the Bruno journal. And we have the bunny journal. Ready? You have to choose in three, two, one, choose. Good, good, good. Two types of shades. We have the brown shade. And we have the white shade. like the white shade or the brown shade. You have to choose in a three, two, one, choose. Good. Now for the eye droplets, there's red, the red eye droplet, the red, the red eye droplet, or the blue, the blue eye droplet, the blue eye droplet. Would you like the red or the blue eye droplet? You have to choose in three, two, one. Good. This one might be a little bit harder. We have the Anxiety slug. And we have the face roller. Would you like the anxiety slug or would you like the face roller? Ready to choose in three, two, one, choose. Very good. Two options of wooden makeup. Wooden makeup. We have this color here. This color. Or we have more of a dark red, dark red, dark red color. Now, which one would you like? The burnt orange or the dark red? In three, two, one, choose. Good. Dusters, 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 dusters. There are two dusters here. This is the white duster, we'll call it the white duster. And this is the gray duster. The gray duster. This one's a little feathery. This one's pretty soft and fluffy. But I need you to choose in three, two, one. Choose. Good. Here we have many, 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 many different colors of eyeballs. But honestly, I just want you to choose between purple, the purple eyeballs, the purple eyeballs, and 
these gray blue eyeballs down here the purple or the gray blue in three two one choose okay here in this color test there should be two shapes that you can see if you can't see them you might not be able to participate in this choice but would you like the triangle the triangle or would you like the x the x the triangle or the x three two one choose okay two different sets of pins the jumbo clear jumbo clear push pins jumbo clear thumbtack push pins or the thin spring shape pins two options one choice three two one choose very well airbrush 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 i've got a bamboo airbrush with wooden bristles bamboo airbrush with wooden bristles i also have a wooden brush with four bristles four bristles you can pick the wooden brush with four bristles or the bamboo brush with wooden bristles. Up to you, but you have to choose in three, two, one. Choose. I see. Time to pick an art piece. An art piece. An art piece. I'm so sorry to do this to you. But you can pick this art piece with a little ghost. This wooden art piece with a little or you can pick this art piece with the skeleton and a little ghost. So, would you like the skeleton piece or the ghost piece? Choose in three, two, one. Choose. Perfect. I've got two rubber bracelets for you, both from a 2007 Hot Topic era. We've got free hugs. And we've got Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga. Would you like free hugs or would you like Lady Gaga? Three, two, one, choose. Good. Wooden triggers, wooden triggers, wooden triggers. This is a wooden comb. sprays they're the same but they're different sizes so i'm wondering which one you will choose the big size the big size or will you choose the small size the small size time to pick big or small three
design do you like? This is the purple vintage gamer design. And this one is the black snake design. Black snake design. Do you want the snakes or the purple gaming one? Three, two, Mini popping fidget. 
Which one would you like? Three, two, one. spoon-shaped red plastic things. Didn't think you'd have to make this choice today, did you? Okay, we have this flat, flat paddle. The flat paddle. Or the miniature spoon. The miniature spoon. <laughs> Would you like the miniature spoon? Flat paddle. All you have to do is let me know. baby food. Tiny mini baby food. Look at this mini 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 pizza. Do you want the tiny mini mini pizza? The pizza? Would you like this little 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 pizza? The pizza? Or would you like The other is never tied down. Never tied down. Never tied down. Would you like never tied down or glamethyst? Three, two, one, choose. Good. Bottled ASMR. This one, this one. Round pillow. Round pillow. Round mushroom. Three, two, one. Choose. Good. Tiny cups. Tiny cups. Tiny cups. Tiny cups. Tiny cups. Silicone. Silicone. Tiny cup. Mini red solo cup. Mini red solo cup. Three. many small googly eyes. Three, two, one, choose. Very well. Now as for textures, we have the rough, rougher texture. And we have the softer texture.
softer or rougher texture. Three, two, one, choose. Good. Do more. We have another set of textures. This is the bumpy, bumpy, bumpy one. And this is the rich texture. What do you think? Ridged or bumpy? Three, two, one, choose. Good. A little mini, mini, mini pack of airheads or a mini, mini pack of mentos. Airheads, mentos, airheads, mentos. Three, two, one, choose. Perfect. And for ice cream, mint chocolate chip, mint chocolate chip in a chocolate cone. Strawberry in a vanilla cone. Strawberry in a vanilla cone. Strawberry, mint chocolate chip. Three, two, one, choose. Okay, magnifying glass. Here's a larger one with a wooden handle. What do you think? A leather case, wooden handle. It's up to you to decide. In three, two, one, choose. Good. Insightful literature. You can choose between it. Be. Never touch a dinosaur. Never touch a dinosaur. And never touch a dragon. Never touch. Dragon, dinosaur. Three, two, one, choose. Perfect. Are you in the mood for wooden Swiss cheese? Or are you in the mood for wooden bologna? Deli fresh, deli fresh, deli fresh. Wooden bologna. Imported, imported, imported. Wooden Swiss cheese. Three, one, choose. Good. Stress balls. Blue and pink. Blue and pink. Blue and pink. Which one will you pick? Three, two, one, choose. Great. Vials of salts. This is a blue This is a violet salt, violet salt in a vial, violet salt in a vial. Would you like the violet salt or the blue bath salt? Three, two, one, choose. Great. Circles of texture, circles of texture. These are water beads, water beads, water beads. Water beads. Three, two, one, choose. Great. Highly debated coasters. Highly debated coasters. Mule sauce coaster. And the butterfly coaster. or butterfly. Three, two, one. Choose. Good. Sunglasses, sunglasses. These are blue circular shades. Blue circular shades. And these are leopard print mirror shades. Leopard print mirror shades. Which one? Choose. Fantastic.
fantastic. Blue glove, black glove. I'll put them on. Black glove, blue glove. Three. And this is a blackberry. Envy, blackberry, three, two, one, choose. Lip stains, lip stains. One is from Fenty Beauty. This one is from Fenty, Fenty Beauty. It's very dark, dark purple, dark, dark purple, dark purple. And this one is from Rare Beauty. Sushi, Ampelman, walking sign. Three, two, one, choose. Great. Two cents to choose from. One of them, hope, and one of them, red velvet. Hope, red velvet. Smell, smell. Three, two, one, choose. Great choice. Gold belts. This one is very stretchy, 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 stringy. Almost bronze. This one is soft, textured fabric. Textured fabric. But which one will you pick? Three, two, one, choose. Perfect. If you need a band aid, we have quite a few options. Quite a few options. Let's see, we have bright orange red and we have rainbow tie dye. Bright orange red, rainbow tie dye. I 
know, but you chose it. Wow, that was some very, very, very good choice making. I'm very proud of you. Now, you can choose to watch this again or go to sleep. Good night. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my channel. We're jumping right in today. I have chosen 16 pairs. So we have a little, um, competition going today. I need to find what is the best tapping item in your opinion. I might do a little poll if I can figure out like a nice like secure way. I feel like it's too easy to um, hack, not hack, but like a uh, straw poll is great, but you know, I'm very curious. I think I want you to make your own brackets. Maybe I'll link you a bracket. You can tag me on Twitter or Discord or um, Instagram, perhaps. Very, very curious. I'm basically going to be tapping on each item only once, but I'll give you the first bracket and then you can go back from there and pick your ultimate item. Are you ready? Let's jump right in. The first a bracket we have leather teddy fresh pouch versus a leather journal. Let's go. Leather journal. Bracket number two, we have glass and wood candle versus camping pot. Let's try the candle.
camping pot. I feel like that was a, a trigger that only a mother could love. A niche, very niche, niche taste there. Next we have paper mache egg versus hard boiled real egg. Paper mache egg. Real egg, hard boiled, don't worry. Maybe sometimes real isn't better, you know. Next, we have silver bow versus silver tape. I tried to make these like sound, like all the triggers sound very different. So if somebody had a very particular preference, thought it would be fun. Okay, here we go. Silver bow.
we have soft cover book. This is hard cover. little bias. That's one of my favorite things to tap on. Okay. Hardcover book. We have plastic cup versus wood bowl. These are just very popular on my channel. So I'm expecting these to go far. I made this bracket very tough. Here we go.
would pull. Next up, we have plastic cover versus metal pipe. I think that I don't like the sound of this, but I wanted to give a wide plethora of choices here. metal pipe. Last but not least, we have toaster coaster versus regular coaster. Cardboard coaster, toaster coaster versus cardboard coaster. Here we go. Toaster coaster.
last but not least, Cardboard Coaster. I don't know if um, my nails just aren't right. The I don't know if my nails just aren't the right length, or maybe I'm outgrowing tapping. But am I crazy? Did any of those sound nice to you? Maybe I'm just having a moment. Let me know. I'm very curious. this video was even good. And if it was, what your bracket ended up being. I'm very curious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is all from me. If you really liked it, I think we could do, I could definitely get 16 more items and keep going. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you sleep very, very Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It's GB. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, today's video is about luck. It's all about your luck. Collectively. Some of these tests will be like about all of our luck, everybody watching, and then some of it's gonna be like your luck. I'm not gonna know. You're gonna have to let me know in the comment section how lucky you are. This is sort of like the sister video to the trying to guess your decisions, but again, I made a bunch of little tests instead, um, things that are usually luck-based. Um, I think this is a very fun trigger, especially when you get it right, when you are lucky. I feel like getting lucky is a good ASMR trigger, weirdly enough. I don't know. Let's try it. We're experimenting. I made a bunch of tests. Enjoy it. Test number one. This should be pretty easy. It's easy because there's only going to be two choices. So you have a 50% chance of being lucky. I have this whiteboard here. I have my Expo pen. And I'm going to draw an arrow right on the board. Nothing pretty. Just a nice big arrow. Super basic. I'll color it in a little bit just to make it thick enough that I'll definitely show up on camera. Okay, this is actually turning out to be the ugliest arrow of all time. Okay. Now I want you to tell me, I want you to guess, because we are testing your luck here, left or right? Left or right? Okay, that's it. That's all 
all you have to guess is left or right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Are you lucky? Did you pick right? The answer was right. Now we're going to test your luck a little bit mm, further. Now I want you to choose up, right, down, or left. Okay? It's going to be four choices. Up, right, down, or left. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let you decide. Manifest your luck. Manifest it. See how lucky you are. Okay. Up, down, left, or right. 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 Have you chosen? The answer is left. Are you lucky? Okay, that was the first two tests. <sighs> but don't worry. If you didn't get lucky, there are plenty of chances. Because what we're going to do now is simply move on to the next test. Alright. Once again, we're going to keep it really easy. This is one of the most classic luck tests, is flipping a coin, heads or tails. Some people use this to make decisions, some people use it to see who goes first. Um, this is a really uh, expensive coin. It is Naruto, a uh, Naruto coin, so this is heads, which is Naruto's face. And then the tails is a shuriken. So what I'm going to do is flip the coin, you just tell me heads or tails, okay? If you get it right, you're lucky. Three, two, one. Heads. Heads. Did you guess heads? Did you guess heads? We're going to do two more. Okay, I just want you to guess heads or tails. Heads again. Heads. 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 Okay. Last time. I want you to guess. Heads or tails. Ready? Three, two, one. Heads. <laughs> I swear I like didn't have the coin in the same spot and I tried to do different intensity flips. But once again, it is heads. heads. I'm a heads person rather than a tails person. I will usually go for heads. Good job, Naruto. Well done. That was luck test. I guess number two. The arrow test was number one, although it featured two different tests. The coin test, the coin flip, was number two. Let's move on to number three. This is a fun one. This is the color test. I am so sorry if you are colorblind, um, but I'll tell you what the colors are so you can still you can still make a guess and get lucky. We're going to do three rounds of this. Okay. So here we have our 50% chance luck test. All you have to do is guess. Green. Or blue. 
green or blue, blue or green, green or blue, blue or green. Okay? And I'm going to tell you what the correct answer is. If you get the correct answer, then you're very lucky. Or 50% lucky. Choose your color now. Think about it. Which one is the correct answer? The correct answer is... Green. The correct answer is green. There's no significance. There's no way you could have known that. There's nothing. Even though I'm wearing a green shirt and the background's green and I'm wearing green nail polish, that is not why green is the correct answer. It just is. Green. Did you guess green? Well, let's see if you can do it this one. Here's the 25% luck color test for you. Okay. We have pink here, pink in the top left, purple in the top right, yellow in the bottom left, and red in the bottom right. Okay. Is the correct answer pink, purple, yellow, or red? Correct answer, pink, purple, yellow, or red. Think about it. The correct answer is, are you ready? Lock it in. The correct answer is red. Did you get it right? Are you 25% lucky? It's really good. One out of four. The other three were wrong. Red means you're lucky. <laughs> All right, here's the last one. This is one in six, okay? One of these colors is correct, okay? We have green, pink, Blue, yellow, and purple. Now in our last test, green was correct and red was correct. They absolutely can be correct again. There is an equal chance of all of these colors being correct. Okay, so don't let that scare you. This is a completely new test. The answer is completely random. And that's why it's going to measure your life. Let's go ahead and look at these colors and see if we can lock one in. Okay, are you ready for the correct answer? The correct answer is you guessed yellow, you are extremely lucky. Good job. Well done. That was my color test. I hope you enjoyed it. Whew, it's a bit of a hard one. That's okay. So the next one I'm going to do actually has to do with all of our luck as a whole. Okay? So, if one of us is lucky, we're all lucky. I have a notebook here. I have my pair of scissors. I didn't pre-prepare this because I figured it could be a good sound. What I'm going to do is cut out a piece of paper here. Almost like the raffle luck test. Fun fact, back in, I want to say like 2009, 
Whenever Tickle Me Elmo came out, it was the hottest toy. I was in high school, so it was kind of like, um, I had like an ironic interest in it. I was like, oh my god, Tickle Me Elmo, it's like so cute. Kind of like the Cookie Monster pants at, um, Spencer's or whatever. I was like, I want a Tickle Me Elmo. And there was one in a raffle that I was at an event. There was a raffle. And the Tickle Me Elmo was very popular. I put in one ticket and I won it. And I really don't win raffles. So I will remember that until the end of time. And I think I still have it. He definitely needs to get his batteries replaced. He's like really like demonic tickle me Elmo right now. Okay. Each of these papers pretty much the same size. Very close. And then I'm gonna cut them in half. Okay, so now we have a lot of pieces of paper, okay? I'm um, I almost wanna count out ten. What do you think? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So it's like we're playing charades. Now, what I'm going to do is on one of these pieces of paper, I have a colored pencil. And I'm going to scribble on this one. Okay. This is what it looks like. A little, 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 little hard to see. But it's there. Um, I didn't want to be able to see it through the piece of paper. So I'm going to fold this once. And we're going to put it in a bowl, like a raffle. Okay. Now I'm going to fold all the other pieces of paper and drop them in the bowl. If we pull this green piece of paper, we, everybody watching this video, go buy a lottery ticket. Okay, it's like a one out of ten. That's a pretty good lottery. This is a very easy raffle. But maybe we can add um, more pieces of paper and try again if we don't get it the first time. Okay. Here's our bowl, our little raffle, and I'm going to mix. Now, I've chosen a paper. Let's see. Are we lucky? Are we lucky? Are we lucky? Are we lucky? No, we're not lucky. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see. Where's our little green piece? It was. Hmm. Looks like it was. Still stuck all the way at the bottom. Even though I really, I scooped it, I promise. Let's try it again with more pieces of paper. So I'm gonna add in 11, 12, 13, 14, got worse, but maybe we're going to be really lucky this time. Everybody just 
manifest luck here. I'm gonna dump them out just to like give it a more random put some in the bowl, 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 put some in the bowl. Covering the bowl. I didn't miss any. Okay. Ready? leaving luck for other tests. Speaking of which, the next luck test is pretty fun. Do you remember Twister? This was the only, like, spinner I could find. I have, like, a really big wheel, like a spinner wheel, prize wheel, um, but it's way too loud for a video. So, this one is a little more quiet. Okay, so this one has, well, let's count together, ASMR style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four is 16. 16 options. So you can have right foot, red, yellow, red. Did you see that? I just called this red. <laughs> right foot, blue, yellow, red, or green. Right hand, green, red, yellow, or blue. Left foot, green, red, yellow, or blue. Left hand, blue, yellow, red, or green. So the first I'm going to do three tests. The first test is I just want you to guess, is it going to land in the left foot quadrant? Is it going to land in the right hand quadrant? Is it going to land in the left hand quadrant? Or is it going to land in the right foot quadrant? Now I'm going to do this kind of flat so that um, gravity doesn't come into play here. I want you to go ahead and about it now. Which quadrant is it going to land in? Think about it. Do you have your answer? Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to start it at the bottom here. Three, two, one. The answer was left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand. Did you guess left hand? Well, even if you didn't, the next test, you might get right. So this one, I just want you to guess a color. Blue, green, red, or yellow. Just guess blue, green, red, or yellow. Doesn't matter which quadrant, just tell. Tell me what color this spinner is going to land on, okay? Are you going to pick blue, green, red, or yellow? Okay, here we go. The answer is green. It landed on left foot green. Last test. Did you get this right? What if you got both of those right? That's kind of crazy. The last test, um, I'm going to be like pizzaing the board around and then placing it randomly on the, on the board and then spinning so that it's like more random. Um, so don't try to pick based on like gravity or whatever. Um, I need you to tell me 
exactly what it's going to land on. You have 16 options here. Is it going to land on right foot yellow? Is it going to land on right hand green? Is it going to land on left foot blue? We don't know, but maybe you know. Go ahead and pick a quadrant and a color. Tell me what you think. I'll give you some time. around a couple times. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. The answer was left hand blue. Left hand blue. Is that what you guessed? Left hand blue. Pretty good if you did. Pretty good. All right. I feel like some of you are super duper duper lucky. And then some of you might be super duper duper unlucky. There's a potential that you haven't gotten a single one right. Even the 50% ones. Don't worry. There's more where that came from. I'm actually going to clear this off now. And we're going to bring in the second camera because you need uh, a couple of close-ups for these upcoming tests. Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. We are back, but this time with a second camera. Hello, hello, hello. So, the test that I have for you here, I just want to be able to show you a little bit better. Um... And the first test is a lovely test that's going to get a bit harder and harder through each round. I want to start with a cup test. Here I have five cups. But we're just going to start Another 50-50, if you will. Now, I'm going to turn these cups over like this, so you can see on this second camera here. We've got cup number one and cup number two. Here I have my little container of, like, Trinkets and game things. We've got little plastic checkers, mini die, like super, super tiny. I even got a little plastic pig in here, I think. But I do want to use this piece at the top here because it's nice and tall. You can see it very well. This little We'll call it a game piece. Okay. So with this game piece, I'm going to cut the cameras for a moment. And using a random number generator, so you don't have to try to guess, like, oh, which one is GB going to pick? I'm leaving it all up to chance. Is the game piece going to be under cup number one or cup number two? Go ahead and generate our number here. Okay. And we're going to cut away. And we are back. I want you to guess whether the game piece is under cup number one or cup number two. Use your luck. 
is it under cup number one or cup number two? One or two? choose now. Okay. It is under cup number one. Cup number one. Did you choose one? Well, we're going to make it a little harder now. Okay. Cup one. Cup two. generating a number. So there's no emotions involved, just luck. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're back. been placed under one of the three cups. Now you tell me, is it under cup number one, cup number two, or cup number three? Think about it. Get that luck. Feel it. Where's that game piece? One, two, or three? Three, two, or one? Let's find out. Here we go. Is it under cup number two? No, it's not under cup number two. Is it under cup number one? Cup number three? Three. Was under cup number three. Let's make it harder. Four cups. We have cup number one, cup number two, cup number three, and cup number four. I'm going to randomly generate the cup. Ready? Okay. I'm going to cut away. And we're back. Is the game piece under cup number one, cup number two, cup number three, or cup number four? One, two, three, or 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 four? One, four, two, three, three, two, one, four. Pick a number. You're lucky. Not under one or four. It was under cup number two. Cup number two. Cup number two. All right, last round. Adding our fifth cup here. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's see. fate of this piece, and we're cutting away, and we're back, back, back. Is the piece under cup number one, cup number two, cup number three, cup number four, or cup number five? Five, four, three, which cup? Okay, here we 
we go. You better pick a number now. Cup number three. No, 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 no. Cup number two. Sadly not. Cup number four. Mm -mm. Is it under cup one? did you do? That's pretty tough. That was a tough one. Well, that was the cup test. Next we have the card test. It's going to be a couple of mini luck tests in between. Actually, this is a game. Kind of, I'm using like a small portion of a game called Riding the Bus. Ride the Bus. Terrible drinking game from my college days. We are using this gorgeous deck of cards made by Lisa V. They are Avatar. Each card is different character. It's beautiful. They're, these are beautiful. I have a whole video showing off these cards if you're interested, but I thought it would be the perfect time to use them. It's all the, pretty much everybody from Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Now these are already um, organized, which is nice from numbers, I think. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask you um, what suit I'm going to pull here. So let's get to the jacks, queens. I'm going to do three rounds of these. I want you to guess what suit I'm going to pull. Now, in this deck of cards, the suits are the four elements. We have water, fire, air, and earth. So the first one would be Sokka, Iroh, Boomy, or Bolin. I'm going to shuffle these off. Camera. And I want you to tell me what suit you're going to get. Water, fire, earth, or air. It's going to be this top card here. Ready? The answer is... Fire. He's quite lucky. I feel like he radiates luck. Iro. Very nice. Let's do it again with the queens. Why don't you tell me what suit you're going to pick? So you're going to pick or get Earth, which is tough, Water, Katara. Which is Janora, or Fire, which is Azula. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle, shuffle, shuffle these cards. Let's see if you guessed right. The answer is... Water. Katara. 
for a well done. Time for the king suit. The king suit. The king suit. Okay. For air, we have Tenzin. Fire. Zuko. Water. Amon. Earth. King Boomy. King Boomy. Okay. Water, fire, earth, or air. What will you get? What will you get? What will you get? The answer is fire. Zuko. The fact that we pulled Zuko, Iro, and Katara, I think that means something. <laughs> Three of my favorite characters. Well done. Well done, well done. Now I'm going to jump the difficulty to pretty much the hardest it can get. I'm putting all of these cards back. I want you to tell me, and there is one joker card, two joker cards, there's two joker cards, we have the cabbage merchant and the, we have the cabbage merchant and the foaming mouth guy from, I think, Kyoshi Island. <laughs> okay, so there's two jokers and then four numbers four of each suit. No. You know what I'm trying to say. It's a deck of cards. There's four of each number. Two jokers. Four twos, four threes, four fours, four fives, four sixes, four sevens, four eights, four nines, four tens. Four jacks, four queens, and four kings. I'm about to shuffle these up. I really am. I don't think I can shuffle enough to like make it good ASMR, but I did finally learn how to do the thing where you like, oh, I did, but I don't want to bend these cards up, so I'm going to shuffle them in the like crazy spreading out and then picking them up again way, but rest assured when I come back, they'll be shuffled. Okay, we're back. I'm going to cut the deck. I want you to guess what card I completely, randomly, I didn't look, I didn't plant anything, I simply shuffled, 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 cut, cut, cut. What card is right here? What number and what suit? So like three of, and it's not spades, diamonds, clubs, or hearts, it's water, fire, earth, and air. Four of earth. Eight of water, jack of air. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? This is the ultimate look test. Here we go. We got. Do you have it? Do you have one ready? <gasps> the queen of fire. That's an awesome card to get. We got Azula. Queen of Fire. Did you guess that? I feel like that's a fun one to guess. That was my card tests. I didn't want to go too uh, in depth with those. If you like these uh, luck tests, you can definitely bring back more specific ones. Next, we have the dice test. So, here we have a beautiful uh, roll container from Wormwood Gaming. Thank you so much for sending me this. This is actually part of their dice tower. Um, I have the whole dice tower, but today we just need this. I have one of their beautiful purple die, and I'm also going to be using a Harry Potter die because I just used these wormwood dice in another video 
and I can't find them. So I found these two. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to start just by rolling the purple die. And I just want you to tell me what number I'm going to roll. Here we go. Pick a fast. Ready? The number was three. Did you pick three? Well, if you did, you're very lucky. Let's try it again. Go ahead and pick. Ready? Here we go. The number was one. One. Did you get it? All right, one more time. Here we go. Let's see if you get lucky. Think of a number, think of a number. Got it? And five. It was five. I usually guess five, I think, when rolling die. I don't know why. Okay, let's make it a little bit harder for the second dice test. We're gonna add them up to die. Many, many opportunities. Now, if you know the uh, likelihood of getting a certain combination of number, this is the only test going to make it easier for you. You can guess the probability of what's going to be rolled a little better. And then our final test, you'll have to guess exactly what the numbers are going to be. But for this one, it's just the total number. I'll give you a hint. If you play Catan, you definitely know. Here we go. But you never know. What is the added number of the dice? going to be from 2 to 12. Pick a number. Ready? The number rolled was 4. 4. We have a 3 and a 1. 4. Let's do it one more time. Pick a number. Added together, what are these dice going to add up to? Here we go. Three the number is three. We have a one and a two, adding up to three. Okay, final dice test. I want you to tell me exactly what I'm going to roll. So not the added number. I want you to tell me you're going to roll a 4 and a 6. Okay? Now it doesn't matter which dice. Okay. Maybe we do a super duper extra round. Okay. So for this round, it doesn't matter. If you guess 4 and 6, it doesn't matter which die it appears on as long as there's a 4 and a 6, a 3 and a 1, a 2 and a 2, whatever. Okay? we go. Do you have your two numbers? Ready to guess? Here we go. We have a one and a four. A one and a four. <laughs> I need to know if somebody got this. Okay, last one. You have to tell me what the purple dye is going to get. And what the black die is going to get. Okay? It matters. So, what number is the purple die going to roll? Okay? What number is the black die going to roll? Here we go. If you get this right, go buy a lottery ticket. Purple rolled a two. And black rolled I need to know if anyone got that right. Let me know. Lucky, 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 lucky. Okay. That was my dice test. And consequently, all of my real tests. But we have one more. Okay. 
So the last test is not um, a look, not like a look test that we've done. This is a bonus test. This is our fortune telling test. It's totally for fun. Um, but I thought it'd be funny. So I have three cups. The cups are back. And each cup has an object in it. You'll definitely get an object. But the first cup, and they're going to be shaken around. So one cup represents money, riches, wealth. One cup represents love. It's a little heart earring. Uh, this is actually Goodnight Moon's earring that she left at my house. And I did DM her asking her if I could send it back to her, but um, she never told me her mailing address. So I, it's fine now. If you would like it back, Erin, just let me know. Let a girl know. But I thought that this could represent love, because it was a heart. Okay. That represents love, soulmates. Whatever, you find your soulmate, you meet cute in the library, you're gonna get engaged, I don't know. And one cup represents a baby. I use the Shrek green baby. Um, a child, new life, a baby. Okay. So you either get baby, money, or love. Those are your future options. That's it. Baby, money, or love. That's the game. Okay. So what I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to shuffle these, and then we're going to see what you get. Okay, we are back. We have three cups, as you can see. Now, you're going to choose cup number one, cup number two, or cup number three. I'll show you what's inside each cup, and that's going to tell you your future. For sure, this is legit. Okay, so depending on what you pick, you get a different fortune. Will it be cup number one? Cup number two? Or cup number three. Decide now. Okay. Locked in. For people who chose cup number one, <laughs> you got a baby. <laughs> you got a baby, an ogre baby. The ogre part is like, not that's not necessarily true, but in cup number one, you, you got a baby. Cup number two, you got money. Money is in your future. And cup number three, you got love. Love. Love is in your future. There you go. That was our bonus test. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, that was all of my tests, plus bonus round. I'm very curious to see how lucky you all are, so of course, let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. Hello everybody. It's GB. How are you? Today is going to be a little bit more interactive. I'm going to be asking you to use your intuition. I love these videos, um, and I've kind of, I've done a similar thing a while ago, um, the, like, test your luck ones, um, but I know that, like, intuition tests are pretty popular. Um, I think I kind of missed the boat, actually, a little bit, but I love watching them. Um, from Luna Bloom, 
as well as our good friend Dipto Tingles, among many other ASM artists, so feel free to drop your favorite intuition test ASMR creators and videos below if you want to watch any more. But I have a couple of very random tests for you. I wanted to see how much, you know, we can intuit. The first one, my first question right off the bat, is what am I drinking? What am I drinking? It's kind of like, you know, I'm tapping on it, so it's kind of like a, a clue as well. Maybe not full intuition, but what am I drinking? I'm drinking Starbucks. I picked it up on my way home. Using your intuition, what kind of milk did I get in my latte? Did I get fat-free milk, 2% milk, coconut milk, almond milk, or soy milk? Which one did I get? I got coconut milk. Coconut milk vanilla latte. Very peak. So, we can start with some color intuition. I have quite a few of those. One of them actually a prop from the test your luck video that I still have. So, on this paper, we have six colors. Red, purple, pink, yellow, green, and blue. One of these colors is correct. The others are incorrect. It's totally fine, but one of them is correct. You know. What color is correct? I'm gonna try to send the answer to you. Intuition. What color The answer is blue. Blue was the correct intuition. It's a hard one because I was already starting out with quite a few options. So, don't worry about it too much. We have um, these amazing ice cubes that I stole from Tiptoe Tingles. Just kidding. She accidentally left them here, but um, I'm holding them hostage until she visits me again. And they turn different colors when you press the buttons and they sound amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. So let's start off easy because I gave you a pretty hard one to, to start. So Red Blue, green, purple, cyan, we'll call the light blue maybe, or maybe that's just regular blue, yellow, pink, and then rainbow. Maybe we call that dark blue instead of purple, and then we call the pink purple one pink purple. You know, like, let's just call this blue because it looks very blue on camera. Green. This 
one doesn't even have a pink. Dark blue, light blue. Okay. Red. Also looks a little orangey, but there's no orange, so you can say red or orange. Red, dark blue, green, purple, light blue, yellow, pink, rainbow. Okay. So, I don't want to let you know how many times I'm pressing the button, so I'm whispering in your ear so you can't hear. But I am on a color. What color am I on? I said I was going to make this easier, but this isn't easier. Okay, I'll give you two options. Am I on green? Or am I on yellow? is red, I promise. It is actually red. Okay, I'll give you two options again. Am I on dark blue or light blue? Dark blue or light blue? Dark blue or light blue? Dark blue. And then I have some more colors that we get. I was thinking maybe. Okay. Ooh. How many times am I going to press this button? Ready? I'm going to count down from 3, 2, 1, and then I will press it as many times as I'm thinking now, okay? How many times am I going to press it? 3, 2, 1. Did you know I was going to press it four times? Now, you know all the colors now in here. What color do you think I'm going to stop on? Ready? Did you guess green? I didn't give you much time to think. So, if you guessed green, even though you didn't have a lot of time to think, maybe that means that you shouldn't overthink things. You should really trust your intuition. You have good, quick intuition, you know? I love this cube. I could do a whole video with it. Okay. How many times am I going to press the button? How many times? We turned it off six times. Accidentally worked out quite well because we turned it off. <laughs> I could force myself to move on to the next trigger. A couple more colors. The colors are so fun. I have these. And the window up here. You can see we've got the whole, the whole gang. Red, orange, and we have like a salmon. Yellow. Dark 
purple, pink, navy blue, blue, dark green, more like a light green, brown, black, and this kind of about which one I'm going to take away and make sure you pick any other color beside that one. It's different, I promise. Okay? So you don't want to pick the one that I'm going to take away. I'm going to count down from three and then I'm going to take one of these away. Each round, I'm only focusing on the one I'm taking away. I'm not focusing on which ones are safe. Your intuition needs to be thinking about, okay, this round, which one is GB going to take away? Let's not pick that one. Three. So 
then we have the purple, navy, green, and black. Okay. So, which one am I going to take away? Don't pick that one. Alright, I'm going to take it away. In three, two, one. How'd you do? How did you do? Let me know. Let me know. Very curious. That was a hard one. That was really hard. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. I have a, a little bag here. A little zipper. inside this bag is a mini nail file. Do you think Or do you think there's nothing in there at all? Have you, can you like kind of feel through the bag with your intuition? I'm going to dab your face with a sponge. Am I going to dab the left side or the right side first? I'll do both.
your left or your right. short, some long, boop, bop, boop. keep the intuition fresh, rolling around. Okay. I picked this up the other day. Now, this one is going to be a very fun intuition, intuition test because I will be joining you on this journey. I did not pay attention to which one I put a tiny little pink gem under. One of them has a tiny pink gem under it, and I don't even know which one it is, so I will not get in the way of So, they are actually six different ones. I can't tilt it too much because that will end up in a blooper video. There are, we'll say there's two, like, white and brown butterflies. This one's like white and cream. Then there's like more of the yellow ones. This one has a blue body. This one has a red body. Then there's the like grayish one, fawn colored with the blue body. And then this tan and brown with the kind of green gray body. Okay. So it's kind of, you know. We're really going to have to vibe here. Intuition, intuition. Which one do we think the gem is under? Okay, I don't think the gem is under this one. Did you pick this one? Let's see. Let's see if either of us are correct. Did I not give you enough time to pick? Well, pick now. Intuition, which one has a gem under it? Okay, I won't move it around too much. No gem. No gem. So I was right that there was 
better set up for myself sometimes. It's okay. Alright, that is all of the tests I will put you through today, okay? You did really well. I, I know, I can tell. I can tell. These were hard. Hopefully, I didn't, you know, hopefully it was, it was fun regardless, so. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did make it to the end of this video, I do want to remind you that in February, we are posting once a week. Um, so I'll see you next week, and thank you so much for being here. Sleep well, everyone.
pies with a turkey sandwich for a taste of Thanksgiving anytime, or grapes galore. Drink while wearing all the purple clothes you can find. Little it be. Cranberry or grape. 
games, you know. That's the name of this game. Does it that? So you can do whatever your heart desires. Very good. You can always look at these a little, a little more close up.
the Zuko video too, but I think I, the Zuko video was first, and then I kind of like improved on it with Grolo. Let me see what else. I think my favorite videos, you're gonna get more of like the complex role plays because I'm very proud of them. The the latest one I just did with the, the Trojan War medical. I'm super happy with how that turned out. I'm scrolling through my videos. Do you want to come? Do you want to come with me while I scroll through? Let's see. Oh, like my Anji videos. There's all the 80s videos. So not a lot of views on these But that's when you know it's probably a video I really like <laughs> It's like I'm doing it for me The 80s videos with Atlas Oh my god, I'm so, so, so proud of those I love all these The Scary Cousin one turned out really good I love the Candy Grams one um, The video of Sarah Shower was so fun enjoy a ton of these, but it's hard to compare them or say they're my favorite. <laughs> Monica. See, it's the big, it's the big intense roleplay ones. <laughs> Dennis and I went ham on that one. The Black Parade one was really fun, too. This big vlog one. Owl. <laughs> Churro.
obsessed at some point. I do not use the term obsessed lightly. I don't remember the name of it, but the one that I loved so much was the orange and black spacesuit, like astronaut suit.
now.